Hello there, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of seven books, host of two PBS specials, here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want. Specifically, how to use my life from the top of the mind philosophy to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do. Today I want to look, kind of take a new look at an old problem. You know, one of the things I talk about when I go out and do my seminars, when I'm writing my books, is how certain triggers, certain situations can trigger certain reactions. You know, it's a human condition. People say, man, my kids drive me crazy, or traffic makes me nuts, or difficult people make me so angry, or whatever it is. And sometimes there's a problem in really understanding what the true problem is here. A lot of people think it's the problem itself. Kids make me crazy, dr traffic drives me nuts, difficult people make me really angry, almost as if the real problem is the situation. And of course, you know, there are situations, toxic work environments, abusive relationships, which are definitely problematic. We need to get out of those. But isn't the rest of that life? I mean, we're going to deal with difficult people and traffic and kids and all that kind of stuff for the rest of our lives. So let's not make that the problem. Now, some people say, whoa, whoa, wait, that's not the problem, our reaction. How we react to life is the problem. Our anger, our stress, our frustration, our resentment, our depression, etc. Well, yeah, and yet I think it's kind of unrealistic to think that we'll never, ever be stressed or angry or frustrated. And so I don't think we want to make that reaction the problem because sometimes we can't control that first reaction. We can't, you know, we don't know when it's happening or we find out it's happening. We experience it without being able to control it. I just did a seminar for some great folks up in Seattle. They were on a retreat from Canada. And one of the participants said, you know, Bill, I don't think the, the problem is the problem or the reaction is the problem. I think it's our reactions to our reactions. And I went, that's brilliant. <laughs> because that's what I've been trying to get people to get. You know, there's a cycle that creates where there's this trigger rather than a problem that triggers a certain reaction. And then we find ourselves reacting to that reaction. I have a, uh, a YouTube video called My Anxiety is Making Me Anxious. But what happens is this middle part of the brain, the limbic system, initially reacts to the problem as if it is dangerous. So it perceives difficult people, drivers, uh, kids, uh, not having enough time, all that kind of stuff as dangerous, throws us into that lower 20% of the brain, and we feel angry, stressed, frustrated, depressed, worried, annoyed, etc. That's bad enough, but then what happens is this middle brain kind of reacts to the fact that we're angry, stressed, frustrated, and it starts looking for something to blame. So it goes back here and starts looking for some person or situation to blame. That makes that seem worse, and we find ourselves trapped in this cycle where we are reacting to our reactions. If we can get clear about that, we can say, okay, am I doing that on purpose? No. Is it working for me? No. Is it helping me create the life I want? No. Is this the statement I want to make about who I am? I'm a person who just reacts to my reactions? No. And of course, the fourth, fourth question that I always love is, would I recommend or teach this reaction to someone I love? And of course, the answer is no. So these are what I call the four criteria. They are four top-of-the-mind questions. They engage this upper 80% of the brain, this purposeful, influential part of who we are. And we can begin to say, okay, I'm having this reaction. Now, how do I want to respond to it? If I were choosing a response that was more purposeful, more effective, uh, made the statement I wanted to make about who I am in a way I would teach to someone I love, what would be the quality or characteristic I would like to be able to draw upon? In my seminars and books, I call this our highest purpose because it's really about kind of deciding how we want to be and who we want to be. What would we teach to someone we love? Begin practicing reacting to life and our reactions in this way. And anything we practice, we get good at because as we're practicing, we're actually rewiring our brain. You've heard the phrase neuroplasticity. It basically means the brain is always rewiring itself and we want to influence that. So we're accessing this clear, confident, creative, purposeful, influential, compassionate part of who we are. So if you've ever found yourself reacting to your reactions, I would just encourage you to go, okay, good information. Now I know what's going on. There's a quote from Albert Einstein that says, problems cannot be solved at the same level of awareness that created them. Now that we know that we may be reacting to our reactions and that's really the problem, we can break that cycle. We can choose to respond, react in a different way once we have used the initial reaction as a trigger. Okay, I'm finding myself feeling stressed. What do I want to do next? 
a question I always ask myself whenever I find myself feeling upset or angry is, okay, Bill, how long would you like to feel this way? You know, we get to feel as bad as we want for as long as we want. Let's just make sure we're choosing that from this upper 80% of the brain. This is what I do. I get to go around the world teaching people how to access this clear, confident, creative, compassionate part of who you are. If you would like me to come to your organization, your church, your school, teach this to your org uh, folks, I would love to do that. All you got to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in. Love to talk with you about that. If you're watching this on uh, YouTube or Pinterest or LinkedIn or Facebook or any of the social media, Twitter, you can always follow me on all of those. I try to post one of these new videos each week, bringing you new information about how to help you become more influential in your life and in the lives of others by using this upper 80% of the brain. In the meantime, here is to you, bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.